right. The moment of truth. Got the power line going to go through here. I think he might have to do like two trenches. I don't think he can curve. So it's gonna go across and then it's gonna go up. This is for uh, electric and cable, internet slash fiber optics. That's not too bad. Well, I mean, you need to have it sealed good. We'll get it. We'll get it past it. I mean, that's your frost protection, so. It's pretty slick. 
It'd take me a while to dig that by hand. Yeah, that worked out perfect. We'll be able to get that in there. That'll be fine. What's that? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I guess on that one, if I have to, if I feel like I'm scooping too much, I can finish it out by hand if I got to get that last little bit. That's slick as hell. I guess it can curve a little bit. I said it can curve a little bit. He's kind of making a bit of a turn. Just not super graceful. All right. I think that's about the end of it. The power line's gonna come up here, end up going to that box, going through there. It's moving pretty good. It goes faster than I thought it would. I suppose with the soil though, it's so easy. behind you excuse me I guess while I got you here I'll bring you up to date I got that much done we're gonna do end up doing a, a 14 and two more two footers that should be perfect uh, yeah those poor guys they've been out here since this morning the machine broke so they've been out working on it out on the road, just beating the holy tar out of it. They finally got it fixed. They called me this morning. and was like, hey, we're up here. Where do you want this thing trenched? I was like, oh, I'm loading forms. So we cut up the rest of those forms this morning, a little bit afternoon, uh, yesterday. Got those up here. And then when I showed up, they were just beating on the machine. Hadn't even started. The guy wasn't very happy with his machine. It was like the tensioner on the, on the tooth wasn't working. So anyways... <clears throat> We'll get that finished up, then we're gonna start laying down here. I think we're gonna try to go to this corner and then two foot return and then stop it there. I think that's what we're gonna try to do. We, we dug around, we, we got enough forms to do it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's coming together. I'm glad they're out here because I got I got to dig these footings back here before before I pour this because that concrete's got to go in that hole or all those holes for those, those pylons. One, two, three, four, five of them. The boss man's looking in the hole. But yeah, it's coming along. Coming along. Let's see, we'll walk around this way. <clears throat> it's where they're going to end up. I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna drop the power lines in and they're gonna drop a quote-unquote conduit to run the fiber optic line in. They're not gonna put the fiber optic in now, I don't think. I kinda, I couldn't really talk to them this morning because like I said, the machine was broken and there ain't nothing better than life than some bearded dummy showing up while you're beating on a broken machine asking you a question. So I kinda just left them alone, you know. Offered him my help and offered him the tools I thought would make their job easier, and they were not interested in my help. So, <clears throat> so these white flags I think represent where they're going to go, or the property line. I don't know what it is. this stuff's going in the ground. They're going to drop that in, and that's what they're going to be able to snake through or somehow push through. I don't know how they're going to do it, but later on, fiber optic will go in. But uh, I think they're going to be following these little white flags here, pretty much property line. And then it's going to come around, somehow sweep through. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how they're going to do it. 
<clears throat> but that's how they're going to do it, and uh, it's going to be done. It's going to get interesting because the plumber never got out here to put the sewer in. And that would have been nice to get the sewer in before, but I guess they'll have to sort it out. That's where they're going to end up going to, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm not in charge. I don't know how anybody does anything anymore. You know, we, had the, we had the plumber out here. He's like, yep, they're going to put this electricity line in. I told him about it. He's like, no, I don't care. He's like, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> way easier to dig a trench, drop a sewer line in before an electrical line goes across. I know that for a fact. Plumber didn't want to hear it from me, so I, that ain't my gig. The bill's the same either way. Let's see how they're doing. I'm pretty sure they're going to reposition and try to make a bend or something. Oh, it's hitting something. Oh, it's slapping. That chain's loose. Loosey goosey. There it is. That's the end of her. She just crapped out. Well, at least we got this part done. All part of the fun. <laughs>